So today I helped fit, uh, finalize the vortex and just tune it in so it's a little bit more stable and ready for the uh, elevator to be inserted. And um, today I worked on the uh, elevator in order to bring the fuel from the intake on the front of the robot up to the top of the vortex for storage. Um, we're using uh, latex tubing in order to uh, bring it up to the top, we're still tweaking that to make sure the ball doesn't slip and that it brings it up reliably. Uh, we had some problems with our climbing device uh, touching our vortex, so we took it apart and trimmed uh, our hooks down and some of our guides, and then we put it back together and uh, we'll be testing that shortly. And today on the electronic side of things, we got all of our our test board put into the actual robot and everything mounted up, all of our pneumatic systems, anything, it's all ready to go. We're just waiting on the rest of the mechanical stuff to get done so our robot's ready to roll. On the programming side, we've been able to fill out all the sub eyes for teleop, so it should be ready to drive as soon as we tune in the fly flywheel, RPM, PID control, and then we can get started on the you know, more autonomous functions. And since yesterday on the vision processing, I've been doing the vision processing of the eye hole uh, around the boiler. And uh, once that code is ready to be tested, well, it's ready to be tested, but we are waiting for the robot to actually have it, have it in our hands so we can do that testing and do calibrations of RPMs versus distance that we are shooting from the uh, boiler.